What's up, everybody? Doc Dog 1985. There's levels to this. I don't know why this is bothering me, but it is. You see, ever since um, I got introduced to Stadia, shout out to my man, MM2K. He's the one that really got me um, actually playing Stadia. Ever since I got introduced to Stadia, it had like a, it had a warm place in my heart. And I wanted to see the, the platform succeed because I do believe there is a, a place or a type of player that this definitely, this definitely serves. One of the things about Stadia, though, that I've always been critical of has been its games. The value proposition for someone like me that's already um, a part of Game Pass. It's very difficult for it's very difficult for you to get me to spend money on games. It is what it is. It's the truth. I'm I'm sorry. I'll, I'm being honest with you. So when people say that Game Pass affects the way people buy games, in my situation, it does. So when I look at something like Stadia Pro, and I'm trying to figure out what I get for Stadia Pro, right? I got to pay for that 4K. I got to pay for that HDR. And then I get Stadia Pro games, and then I get discounts on specific games. Not even every single game, but specific games. But that's not enough. You see, if you want to get into the gaming business, you got to have games. Right. You got to have the games that people want. This is a huge game. I would argue this is probably the biggest game on Stadia. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you think there's something bigger, let me know. Microsoft and Sony are both very well established established gaming companies. And they still and they still felt the need to go out there and buy something. If they're already established, already has a fan base a fan base they ain't going anywhere. And they felt the need to purchase something, to own something. Google, you need to do the same. I don't know what it is that you need to buy. I don't know what it is that you need to purchase. But you need to do the same. The only reason right now I would recommend Stadia over another cloud gaming platform is two reasons. Number one, it's free, literally free. And number two, your technology is the best. In my opinion, when I'm playing cloud on Stadia, it works better than on xCloud. But, and GeForce for that matter. But, xCloud is definitely catching up. xCloud has definitely gotten better. And when it comes to the selection of games, xCloud is amazing. I'm just saying. I'm just being honest with you. I hope someone from Google Stadia is listening to this and is paying attention to what I'm saying. Because if you're only listening to Stadia Pro channels, it's almost like listening to a uh, prosperity gospel. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's cool. That's nice. But sometimes you need somebody to tell you where you're messing up and where you're, you're, you're falling short. Google, we need games. These games as pro games, that ain't, that ain't it. That, okay, that's cool. But... Come on, man. What what are we doing? What look at all? Look, these are the pro games you're giving me. These I bought. These are the pro games you're giving me. This is what you're doing. And then you got Microsoft out there buying freaking Activision and Zenimax. You got Sony securing a deal with these people. Now understand, understand what they said, right? Understand what they said. 
they said that they're going to keep things multiplat. You believe that? Are we, are we, I don't believe, I don't believe, believe none of these companies. I don't believe Microsoft. I don't believe Sony. I don't believe, show, show me. You think this is going to stay exclusive on this platform? They took it off of Game Pass already. So what, so you think it's going to stay on here? How is Sony going to make their money by keeping this on here? You let me know. You need to secure something. You need to secure a major fran franchise. You're already in bed with Ubisoft. Figure something out. Figure something out. I don't know what to tell you. I don't want to see Stadia go away. I don't. Because more options are better. More options we have to play games, the better it is. I understand the benefit of cloud gaming. With cloud gaming, you never have to upgrade your hardware because it's being upgraded on the other end. Yes, I get it. You don't really own the games and all that stuff. Okay, I get it. But if you're doing something like Pro, the Pro subscription, which is equivalent to like the PS, um, PS Plus subscription or the Xbox Live subscription, right? And they're giving you games and stuff. At least make the games worthwhile. I don't know, man. I just see Sony and Microsoft making these moves. And I know, I know Google has the money to make moves. Now, maybe everything I'm saying doesn't matter. Maybe there is something going on behind the scenes that I'm not seeing. And something big will come of, will come of this. But as of right now, this is going to be leaving. Or you're going to have to pay Sony extra to get this on your platform? You think, Sony just won't, you think this is going to stay the same price as they on your platform? Google? Is that what you think? What are you going to do? You're going to raise the price to, 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 to your subscribers? I don't know, man. I don't want Stadia to go away. But you tell me, what's the incentive for me to play on Stadia right now? Buy something, Google. Figure it out. I can't wait to see all the Google Stadia fans respond to this and tell me that I'm wrong. You guys are satisfied with these pro games? You guys are cool with this? You guys don't think they need to get more games? You don't think their selection of games needs to be bigger? Let me know. Everyone's already talking about this Activision deal and about the Bungie deal. So you could go watch their channels if you're trying to figure out how this affects Microsoft or Sony or whatever. As I'm looking at both these these deals, I'm figuring I'm trying to figure out how this is going to affect Stadia. And um, I'm not liking it, man. It's almost like Stadia is no even longer in the news. It's even getting drowned out. They're not even talking about how bad Stadia is anymore. At least before, at least you, you had negative publicity. You're not even getting that anymore, Stadia. And like, we got to do something, my man. We got to do something. Let me know if I'm tripping. Doc Dog 1985. There's levels to this. We out. Peace.